What if I told you Boogie's quad injury is going to lead to two random dudes fighting? Nope, this isn't a 30 for 30. Apparently this is real life and I have the entire Twitter beef and how it broke down. Also, the results are in on DeMarcus Cousins injury and it might be pretty serious. What's going on Fumble fam? It's your boy Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel CK2K. But make sure you subscribe right here, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. There have been many instances that I've seen somebody openly trash my Knicks. I know, I know, when you're bad it comes with the territory, but it still pisses me off. But these two dudes took this to another level. In last night's game between the Clippers and the Warriors, in the first quarter, Warriors center DeMarcus Cousins is seen injuring his quad. Luckily, the Warriors were able to still play well without the All-Star, but end up losing in dramatic fashion as the Clippers come back and win 135 to 131. Now that the news is out, Boogie will be most likely gone for the remainder of the playoffs. The Warriors are short one of their best players, and this NBA fan believes if anything goes wrong for the Warriors, they will pull the, well, Boogie was hurt card and he tweeted, Great, now Warriors fans are gonna talk about Rockets only beating them because Boogie is hurt. Shortly after, another NBA fan by the name of The Slander God responded to this by saying, Get this piece of shit out of here, bruh. So I'm seeing this as a Warrior fan upset with another fan, right? That's it. Oh no, it's not. It continues. The Slander God tweeted again saying, My I promise you making your injury jokes for a measly one retweet and six likes just makes someone want to curb stomp your nerdy ass at point gods. I mean, he's not wrong, minus the very violent actions. People love taking advantage of moments like this boogie injury to make a quick joke that some others would find relatable and retweet it. So Eric steps in to defend himself saying, wasn't an injury joke and you're a strange man who is getting real life mad over a tweet that was a joke rethink your life. Slander God then responds with this. Your first thought was to make a joke about matchups and I'm strange? F this Twitter shit. I'll smack the shit out of you, blood. Now this is the common find me in real life response, right? And normally the two will go back and forth and bop bop, it's done. Nope. The slander guy was about that action and continued. You for real a whole bitch if your first thought is to joke about someone getting hurt. Sh was like that when Nurkic got hurt. Y'all really need your asses beat. Now Eric tries to play the power move by dropping the state he lives in and the name of his apartment complex, knowing damn well Texas is a big old state and there are plenty of apartment complexes with the same name. He said, get a load of this guy. I stay at the Grove Apartments in Huntsville, Texas. Come through. Y you still there? Yeah, we're not done. The slander god responded. He said, what's the apartment number? Don't cat. And Eric complied by saying 72 Two, one, come through. So Eric then tweets separately, realizing how this has escalated. Now that all your government is all up on the web, Eric said, most of y'all know I wouldn't even make fun of an injury, and I wasn't. Just clowning Warriors fans like always. But if a married man got so hurt over a tweet that he's gonna waste money to come on a flight all the way to Texas, then come on. But my guy, the slander guy, was in that mode and responded saying, oh, the backtrack for your 15-year-old fans is glorious. He continued with, it takes about an hour to get from Houston to Huntsville. Be outside your apartment door. After no response from Eric, the slander god tweeted, nah, what made me mad was that you tried to punk me like I wouldn't pull up on your little nerdy ass. I give a shit about the joke now. It's basketball. Not that serious. Don't spend it to win sympathy votes, Hillary. He then responded with this already purchased plane ticket. What is going on? Eric then tweets, see you soon. And the slander god responded with, I'ma need you to lay out a futon cause after I handle my business, I'm staying in your crib. With the Expedia itinerary attached. This is insane, bruh. Eric then responded by saying, this funny more than anything to me. You really mad over a tweet that you just spent almost $500? Well, uh. That was fun. This is unfortunately where the tweets end. And according to the dates on the ticket, my guy, the slander god, ain't leaving until April 28th. So we'll just have to sit here and wait and see if this really goes down. What even is life anymore? I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Boogie had his MRI this morning and unfortunately it was what we all thought. He tore his quad. Shams tweeted, 
Warriors all-star DeMarcus Cousins has been diagnosed with a torn left quad, league sources tell, at the Athletic NBA at Stadium. Devastating for Cousins, who had MRI early this morning. He followed that with, this is probably season ending for Cousins, but he and the team will see how he responds within the first two weeks of rehab. That is not expected to require surgery, sources said. Real bummer for Boogie, especially after it was looking like he was about to get a nice deal this offseason after his production, coming back from an Achilles injury. So what do you guys think? Would you go as far as the slander God did to make a point? And are you still spending money on Boogie this offseason? Let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna go take a quick nap and then I'm gonna get you guys with the last story of the day. I don't I don't know what's going on.